I gotta say, this is probably some of the best German food I've ever had. And it's in Brazil. Yes. Seriously. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Blumenau in the state of Santa Catarina in Brazil. Today I am so excited to visit this beautiful town. It was founded in the year 1865 by German colonists and they're famous for their Oktoberfest every single September, October, right? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna try some beer, German food, we're gonna explore the town. We're starting off right here at Beerland, which is one of the microbreweries. Unfortunately, they don't allow visitations to the actual brewery, but they do have a convenience store. They have a lot of different beers. They have Pilsen's, Strong Ales. What else do they have? IPAs, lots of good stuff. We're gonna buy some beer, we're gonna come outside and we're gonna drink it, because unfortunately, you know, during these times, we can't do it inside. Let's go. Follow me. Awesome. Right here, you can see how beer is made, right? The process basically gives you a generalization. Malt, hops, yeast, and water. They have all their beers for sale. So these are all 12 packs. Keep walking this way. They have merchandise. So you have hats over here. You have a growler, really nice growler, beautiful. Keep coming, keep coming. Love this one, by the way. This is really nice, nice glassware. And here we have their beers. Pilsen, Session IPA, American IPA, Vienna, strong and stout, really affordable, only three reais, which is like, you know, 80 cents for this beer. Same thing here, these are a little more expensive, obviously stronger beers, way more time, darker beers take time to make. So I'm gonna try their stout, one dollar for this, and maybe I try their Pilsen, why not, right? So I'll do a little bit, a little combo, right? Super light lager, super strong ale. And over here, we have the merch. So, I don't wanna drink in a plastic cup. I just don't do that. And I wanna buy a souvenir. Probably gonna give it to my dad, cause he's the man. So I'm gonna take one of these, and I'm gonna take one of these. Really affordable again. 11 reais, so two bucks. And over here, three dollars for this. So total, I think I'm spending like six dollars to drink two beers and take the glassware. Awesome, let's go pay. The total is 36 for two glasses, two beers, and my friend got like some grape juice. Is that, that's like seven dollars, really affordable. What do you got? Thank you. And quickly let me tell you, so they, all, they have Pilsen, Bison, Vienna, IPA, Strong Ale, Stout. The Strong Ale is really strong, 9%. I'm not going with that, I haven't had lunch yet, I can't deal with that right now. And 9% at this time? No, at this time. stomach? No way. Obrigado. Um, all right, let's go outside and let's try some beers. So this is the Pilsen. Pilsen. Right, like 5%? Mmm, nice, refreshing. It's actually very like... And it smells good, huh? It smells good, it's like a nice it little good. fragrance. It's a, it's a little bitter, but it's nice. Um, you know, crispy, Pilsen. If you guys don't know about the beer world, you got lagers, which are bottom fermentation. You know, ales are up, or top fermentation, and Pilsen comes from lagers. Mmm. Smell it. My friend doesn't uh, drink. Yeah, but I'm gonna have a, a oh, juice. grape juice. This is good. And <laughs> always, always drink it in a glass, never a plastic cup. Yes. That ruins the taste. Exactly. And it has to be chilled like this. And the good thing is that because we're at the brewery, it's probably the best place to have the can. Obviously, if it was on draft, even better, but they probably just canned it recently. Yeah, and I would say for any beverage like coffee as well, man, having a uh, lot of plastic, mm. tastes plastic, no, right? That's gross. Yeah. Well, it's good. All right, I'm gonna go to the next one. Chocolate. Well, let, let me pour a little bit more. Pour a little more, yeah. Let's finish this beer. This is my favorite, stouts. Stouts are the best. If you guys don't know about stouts, that stems from porters. Just a stronger, dark beer. Very chocolatey. Yeah. Espresso. Coffee, yeah. It's light, yeah, it's not yeah. bitter. Only yeah. like 5% I think, or 6% alcohol, so not like crazy strong. Yes. Nothing like the strong ale they have inside. But it's a nice refreshing beer. Some people don't like drinking this in hot weather like this. I personally enjoy it. It's just a heavier beer, you know? Yeah. This is very, this is very German. It's, actually, it's actually very Eng English, but yes. I'm good. Saúde. Mmm. Wow. 
different, huh? Oaty, like like oats. Oats. And a little milky, almost yeah. like a milk stout. It says like really oaty, creamy, mm. right? Yeah, creamy. Salud. Salud. Having uh, grape juice. Sabor Max Fruta. Uva. Uva. Is actually the best way to start a day. Grape juice. Salud. Saúde. <laughs> Cheers. Prost. All right, guys. We're gonna go straight to Blumen now. Now we're gonna look for a restaurant. We're gonna eat some delicious German food. Man, usually it's like Kassler, right? Like it's uh, pork uh, uh, chops and pork leg. Bye, bye, Beerland. <laughs> Beerland is actually about 25 minutes outside of Blumen now. We're taking the back road to get there. The highway is to the right. It's not really a highway. It's more like just a fast, you know, road. It's not in the hills. Like Pacific Highway, right? Yeah, like a Pacific Highway. Yeah. And this is more hilly. Uh, it's really winding roads, but beautiful German buildings everywhere. All wooden style houses. This is really unique. I've never seen this. Even in Germany, you don't see this because this is like a hundred years. Yes. Like old traditions. Old. Yeah, like this part, like very agriculture, right? Like kind of like farmer place. You should come, man. If you have the opportunity to attend Oktoberfest in October, please come. It's worth it. And what's really amazing is that in Curitiba, it was like cold and wet, like cold for real cold. Yeah. Now I am sweating with a t-shirt. So It is hot. like super tropical, super 29, hot. 29 and, and when we get to Florida, it's gonna be really hot on yes. the beach. We're in Blumenau. Beautiful day, man. 31 Celsius now. As we enter Blumenau, you can see. We're on the main road, commercial, basically just like warehouses, a few different buildings, but historical center is still about 10 minutes away. Yeah. So straight down, right? Yes, like almost four kilometers. Wow, the amount of blonde people here is insane. The majority. I've never seen a town like this in Latin America, this many blondes. Like every single girl is super, super white and blonde. Incredible. Man, where's the food? I'm hungry. Three minutes away. Three minutes, it. It's in. And here we are in Blumenau. And this restaurant in front of us looks like an old German house. Awesome. Can't wait. So it's like a beer garden German restaurant. Yes. Let's go. We're ready to eat, man. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> so this is an amazing building. It's a beer garden, it's a restaurant. They have buffet for lunch. They also have a few things a la carte, which we're gonna try. Really German traditional things, including sausage. And Kosseler. And Kosseler. Which is the park leg. And right. draft beer. And draft beer. I mean, this building's beautiful. It's like, it's been 90 years. It was the first martinery hospital okay. in Blumenau. Amazing. So it has a lot of history, very colonial, very German. This is a beer garden. It's nice to have like this long, huge table yeah. where you can share your meal with others. Exactly. And it's great to be here, man. Yeah. I'm so happy. From outside, it literally looks like a building in Bavaria with a beer garden, everybody here eating delicious food, Absolutely. drinking some beer. We're gonna go in the kitchen right now. We're gonna see how they make some dishes. Bruno, let's go. Really traditional, authentic German style building. Right here we have the buffet. Everybody's sitting around. They have these cool hats. Looks like Swiss hats. Very nice. You. Lady is the boss here. Bom dia, bom dia. To the bomb, to the bang. Okay, they're about to start cooking our food. But before that, we're gonna see them pour some beer. Some cerveja, hold on, from Blumenau. So they have Pilsen, right? And this is, oh, it's IPA. Look, and then they have a Villa Weiss beer. Oh, that's great. This is all on draft, I like it. So this one's IPA? Yeah. Does it? So this is a capivara. So that's like the rodent here, right? In the in Brazil, huge rodent, the biggest rodent in the world, right? So it's a little IPA, 6.6 percent .6 from uh, Cervejaria Blumenau. So that is like the main microbrewery. That's right here, okay? Oh, so tasty. Oh, hoppy, fantastic. Not too bitter. Now I'm in Blumenau. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Cervejaria Blumenau. This is the little IPA, delicious. And right here we have the Villa Weiss beer. Weiss beer, I love it. This is real German style. Huge. Mm. 
Oh, delicioso. Wow, it's like cloudy, mm, a little creamy. What am I doing here? It's amazing. <laughs> it's like I just landed in Germany, dude, and I'm in Latin America. It's amazing. Cool. It's amazing, dude. I can't even believe this. So friendly. Hey, you're the man, dude. You're the man. Are you joining me? <laughs> Join me. It's too big. It's too big. I gotta say, I haven't had vice beer in a long time. I love it. It's so, it's like a traditional beer from Germany. Obviously, it's their style. Wow, it's so good. And this is like a what, a liter? <laughs> ready? That, the uh, pastas are ready there, man. Wow, we are seeing how they make so many different amazing German dishes here. So authentic. So authentic. We got sauerkraut. We have two different sausages. We have like the white sausage from like Bavaria. Yeah. Then we have the regular one which I love. Or then this one is? Eisenben. Eisenben. Yeah. Pork leg. Fried. Exactly. Fried. And then we have the pork cutlet. Swiss, right? Yeah, minute schnitzel, right? Yeah. So. And uh, with mashed potato. And with mushrooms. Oh, the mushrooms. Yeah, the, with cream milk. I mean, right? the aroma in this kitchen is yeah. so good. Look at this. Look oh, yeah. yeah. I've never seen a Wiener Schnitzel this amazing. Yes. Having the freaking mushrooms, that creamy so brownish tempting. sauce. Oh, so tempting. Let's dig in. This it's with time. beer. Hey, <laughs> over to God. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm ready. I'm ready, man. That's amazing. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Got my two beers. Let's go meet with Rafa. Let's have some beer, some food. It's gonna be epic. Dinosaurus. Crazy. Oh, it's so good. Obrigado. All right, my friends, we are ready to eat. We got our beers and let me show you a trick. So the reason they invented these beers in Germany is because back in like the 1500s, people were poisoning people and they said, you know what, you can't poison me anymore. Let's split this. And the beer is supposed to jump into the other beer and we drink. Well, you can't drink. Yeah, <laughs> but. Mm. Look at this monster. One, one liter, huh? One, they're, they're crazy. And, and, keep, and keep cold, right? It stays cold, really yeah, cold. It stays cold. And then right here we have amazing sausage. We have pasta, which is something very different. It's a German pasta. Over here we have the schnitzel, but schnitzel with mushrooms and like this creamy, delicious sauce on top. Over here we have mashed potatoes and the... Eisbin. Eisbin, which is basically like a pork leg. Right. Right. It's, it's basically almost like pork rinds, right? Yeah, with uh, mashed potato. potato. We're gonna split it in half. We gotta slowly eat, right? Boom, 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 boom. Wow, man, it looks amazing. When we talked about the trip, and he was like, man, it's a German town, they have Oktoberfest, we have to go, I was like, I'm in. We I love the out. route. I love the route. Yeah, this route is the epic. route. Yeah. yeah, sorry, the route. Yeah, no, it's fine. But yeah, most yeah, people, yeah. Most people don't even know about this route. Yeah, yeah. A few Brazilians, man. But few outsiders, Brazilians. foreigners, they don't know. They don't know. They no might heard knows. about it, right? Exactly. Yeah. But you're saying most people do know about the Oktoberfest. Yeah, yeah. Let's split this guy. Let's do it. Because if not, beautiful. So I'm gonna cut this guy in half, and then another half because this is big. They gave yes. us an epic portion huh yes sauerkraut all day sauerkraut this is the best i'm a big fan so if you guys don't know about sauerkraut it's basically just cabbage right cabbage pickles right mm. pickle cabbage yeah mm. Mm. potato potato get as much as you yeah, want dude here. it's never ending right yeah so much mashed potato oh my have. god they love mashed potatoes in germany they yes, love it they love it i mean and this is exactly how you eat in germany i've been to frankfurt i've been to munich 
where else? Berlin. I've been to many cities and this is very similar. Obviously it changes in every city, yeah. but this is like the staple dishes, right? Yeah, I had this experience in uh, Frankfurt and Cologne. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I, I haven't been to Cologne, I need to go to Cologne. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm dying to go there, man. Yes. That's gravity, man. Woo! Yes. Schnitzel, so, right? And the pasta, right? Oh, and the pasta. Oh. Forgot about the pasta, bro. Yes. It's amazing. What an experience. I gotta say, this is awesome. Blumen Garten, so it means the garden is blooming. Obviously, there's flowers around here. The building is beautiful. Over 100 years old, this building, right? 90 years. 90 years? 90 years. Wow, 90 years. Ma Maternity Hospital. It was the first one in Blumenau, 90 years ago. And we also have this dark mustard, and that is for the sauces, right? Yes. You want some? Please. Perfect. This is a true feast. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sausages. Sausage first, why not? Yeah, and go with the white one. This is the traditional Bavarian sausage. The white one, right? It's like right? the vice, right? Cheers. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. A little bit liquid inside, right? Yeah, no juicy. Yeah, the juicy and smoke. Smoky. Yeah, smoky. You mix this with some sauerkraut. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yes. First time I went to Germany. I actually landed in Berlin with my brother, mm -hmm. and we drank and ate sausages for three days straight. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. We were, we were like kids. I was like 20 years old, bro. <laughs> wow. Mm. The best I've ever had. Yeah? Man, delicious. They know what they're doing. This is real food. Oh, God. I can't wait for the schnitzel. Wow. I love it. It's basically cutlet, right? Yes. So if you're from India, certain places, cutlet. Pork, good prep pork, right? Mmm. Mmm. Sweet mushroom. Yes. Oh, mixed with like a little bit of that grease. Oh, God. I gotta say, this is probably some of the best German food I've ever had. And it's in Brazil. Yes. Seriously. So good. So good. Mm. And all this food pairs perfectly with the beer. That is why Germans drink this amazing beer. Man, so good. Too good. Yo estoy enamorado de esta comida, man. Next, we got some of the... The pasta? The pasta, yeah, let's try it. Oh, we got some of that sauce, too. I think I think the best thing to do is add some of that on top. Yeah, they call it spetsly. 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 Okay. Sorry it, about my really bad German no, pronunciation. It's, it's fine because you know what? In Albania they call it petula. Petula. Maybe the format of a flower? Small? It's similar. Like chocolate flower? Mm hmm. That's Very cool. similar. Didn't no. know that. It's good. It's actually like, it's pasta but it's more grainy. Yeah. Just the way they cut it, mm -hmm. right? Like a small grain. Mm hmm. Delicious. Different. Oh. It seems that they do with uh, uh, garlic, maybe. Oh, I don't man. know. This is like the best thing of all time, man. <laughs> I, I don't want to like bash the rest of everything we ate, but this is probably the best move we've had. Absolutely. Really mm. authentic. Mm -hmm. mm. And the mushrooms, that creamy sauce. Yeah. Oh, it's Pretty like milk. it's like fused into the cutlet. Yes. Oh my gosh. You don't joke around, man. No, they don't joke around. This is like, mm. this is real food. I don't lie about my taste. When I taste something good, I let it be shown, you know? Wow, look at this amazing sausage. Mm. This is like, <laughs> moito, moito bon. Moito bon. Mm. This sausage is not industrial at all. No. No way. Craft, right? This is like craft, right? Somebody made this in their house. Oh, yeah. You want some of this? Yes, please. Boom. Let's eat this. Ready? One, two. Cheers. I like both. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. This is the Eisenman pork leg fried. So amazing. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. My style, sorry. Oh, just break it up. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Crispy outside. Juice inside. Oh my gosh. Mm. Not salty. Not salty at all. Mm. 
been crazy. The juice is flowing. Mm. The fat. Look at that. Wow. So crunchy. It's almost like a mix of chicharron with the meat, you know? Because the chicharron doesn't have the meat. And lechon. Mm hmm. Some people don't, don't like German food. I, I have to disagree. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. I don't know why they don't like. Mm. Maybe they're not used to the flavor. Mm -hmm. I think it's so. It's like it's more filling. Always very meaty, gamey, really, because they're more about pork. Mm -hmm. Pork everything. There's no beef almost, you know. Mm. So good. Dude, I'm like drooling over this food. Mm -hmm. In one for seconds for sure. Mm. And the sauerkraut. So phenomenal. Hey. Good. Bros, to Blumenau. Uh. Blumenau. Great job. You've done a great job. Wow. So happy to be here. Dude, I am so happy. This schnitzel. <laughs> so good. Muito macio por dentro. Sente só crocante. Levemente rosado por dentro. One. Well, I'm impressed of the variety of the items they have in this menu and the price, man. Eating in the south of Brazil is cheaper than the big capitals, right? Like Rio, Sao Paulo, and the, the dish we had, uh, Spatzli, it's the main dish in the evening for dinner. You know, they have like so many options with lemon, the Blumenau sausage, uh, blue cheese with nuts, uh, mushrooms, goulash. Obrigado Thank you. Volta. Thank you. Obrigado. Rock and roll. Where are we going next? Uh, we're going to the Villa Germanica, the German villa, right? The plaza where they we held the Oktoberfest. I love it. When you experience different cultures within a country, it's a different world. So we just crossed through the mountains to get to the other side of the city. Wow, just like lush, heat, beauty. What a beautiful place, man. It is so beautiful, man. This is the German Villa, right? Mm -hmm. Called the German Villa Park. German Villa Park? Yeah. Right here we have a lot of like skyscrapers, basically like 25 story buildings. Most of them are residential from what I noticed. Hilly, then more commercial space. Yeah, this is so this is basically the German town, the main center, right? Yeah, and that's where they held the the festival, right? The Oktoberfest. Oh, right there? Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is where they hold Oktoberfest every single October. Beautiful, but right now they have like a uh, Natal, so a yeah. Christmas Feliz celebration. Natal. Yeah, Feliz Natal. You came here for Oktoberfest, and right here. October, yeah. It's kind of like a big parade, you know, with a lot of uh, bars and restaurants and festivities, you know. It's two weeks. So like the first group, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then the next week. So it total two weeks of party. So this is like you're entering old town Frankfurt right here. Really German. I mean, everything is like impeccable, dude. I've never been to a place like this. This is like incredible. So old German architecture. You have restaurant typical, so typical restaurant, German restaurant. You have a beer garden right here. The heat is getting to us. It got so hot so fast all right guys so i entered a souvenir shop and they have everything that is oktoberfest but they also have a mix of stuff right here so there's like medieval swords this is cool though all oktoberfest gear nice so coasters they have glasses really cool german stuff whoa look at this the hats hats are the best i personally like this and this blumenau hat with the German eagle. What do you guys think? Cool? Should I buy one? Or should I think about getting one of these? These are cool. These are like real like Swiss German. Uh, hold on. Is that good? What do you guys think? Do I look ready? You're right, you're right, you're right. 
And guys, I love their glassware. Look at this. It's all blooming out Oktoberfest. You won't find this anywhere in the world but here. Really, really beautiful. I mean, what a souvenir. Like this awesome one. Look at this. Blooming out Brasileiro de Cerveza. This is $6. $6. You can't find this anywhere else in the world. So it's it's German, but it's very it's German. Swiss. Yes. People buy to, to attend the festival, right? Oh, it's amazing. Usually, yeah. I like it. It's beautiful, right? What do you think? For my daughters? Please, man. They're going to be so happy. What do you think, sir? Okay. No, ciao, ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. ciao, ciao. Alright, okay, it's cool. So I, I bought three shirts and a glass. Woo! We're in Amazing. Germany, baby. It feels like I'm walking through Frankfurt. Hey, yeah. it, it's really like a German town. It is. I mean, this was was this a historical center or no? They just made this up. This is part of a uh, historical center, but this is handmade, right? Like it's a, it's a commercial villa that they held uh, this festival, this beer. There's not only Oktoberfest, but there's other beer festivals along the year, right? Doing my research, it said 1865 is when the Germans, you know, the colonists came here to this town. Here it says 1860, capital of Brazil of beer. So I guess they came earlier and they became the beer capital of Brazil. Look, amazing. This is nice. Let's get a photo right here, man. Totally German, 100%. How about this weather? How about this temperature, 31? It is so hot, guys. It is scorching right now. When you walk into the shade, it's perfect. Oh, this feels good. Yes. It feels great. Correct. Basically, all it is is like restaurants, cafes, bars, Bar, souvenir slash shop. souvenir shops. Yeah, exactly. that's it. That's it. Pretty cool though. Everything is Oktoberfest. Obviously, the host Oktoberfest here. The only one in Brazil. Yes. That's it. Unique. People Unique. from all over Brazil come to attend this festival. It's very traditional German architecture, right? So you'll see this type of architecture in Munich, also in Frankfurt. From what I've been, that's where I've seen this the most. Also Nuremberg, so I guess Bavaria. Bavaria is more like this. Pretty nice. Look at this. Gorgeous. The colors. Blue, red. Purple, epic. So if you want to buy some souvenirs, you can do it here. You can drink, you can eat. Really amazing. Now we're headed to another brewery to try some delicious beer. I mean, this is what you do here, right? You eat German food, you drink German beer, and you live life to the fullest. Let's go, only a 15 minute drive. I can't wait. I'm excited. Prost, Prost Deutschland. Let's go. We're going out to like a local brewer called Cervejaria. Alice Blues. Alice Blues. Right, so, Rafa? Alice, I think it's how are you, right? Like Alice Kla, Alice Good. Alice Blau. Alice like Tudo, Tudo Blues, I don't know. I don't know German, but we can ask when you get there. After a 15 minute drive, we are here in Alice, Alice Blau, which means blue, right? Of the blue. All right, so we're inside the brewery. They have a bar area, you can eat, you can get some beers. We're going in the back. What's up, my friend? This is our man Diogo. Hey, obrigado. Diogo was born and raised in Gramado. He's 26 years old, 25 actually. He's been working with breweries since he was 18. Awesome. So, he vai fazer 26 this year. 26 in May. In May. Beleza. Eight, eight years. Eight years. So, what are we seeing right now? We're gonna go in the back. We're gonna see the fermentation. We're gonna see some tanks. Yes, fermentation. All the process that they make the beer. They got all their bottles. Huge. So they have the bottling system right here. They don't do cans, they do bottles. Over here they have, so they're aging beer. Aging beer. Wow, very nice. I like this. This is good stuff. Whoa. Aqui temos a primeira matéria prima, o malt. Yes, this is malt right here. Wow, all malt. It smells malt. It's amazing. Este é o malt de cevada. Ele passou por um processo. So in this room, they have the bags of all the malt and they grind it right there. Correct. Awesome. Yes. Next step, let's go. This is the four barrel system. This is where the beer is made. So we have the boiler, over here is filtration, and this is what they use right here to calculate, right? So they see moisturization, filtration, the boiler. This is where everything is done. This is the magic, right? And over there, we have the fermentation tank. So once everything is made, then it goes in there, it stays for like 10, uh, 12 days, come on, like 12 days, and then from there, straight to kegs, 
draft bottles. That's it. Hoje tu vai tomar uma Catarina Sour e uma e uma Session IPA. Okay, we're gonna try two different beers. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so here in this bar, they have like gallons of like 1,000 liters, 2,000, 6,000, 8,000, and 10,000 liters. So remember, this is the fermentation tanks. So five times a week, they make beer. The beer goes from there to here, and then from here over to be drunk 10, 12 days later. This is amazing. So 1,000 liters. Over there, 6,000 liters. Look how massive these things are. We are tasting beer directly from the fermentation tanks. This is the best. This is the most like unique type of beer, even better than draft. You've never had beer like this before. Obrigado. Here we go, guys. Session IPA. I love the head. Really nice. Mmm, it's crisp. Oh, it's like so good. It's so light, too. Percentage. Quatro e meio. Quatro e meio. It's 4.5%, not so bad. I mean, it's very light beer. Very sessionable. That's what it means. Sessionable beer. Session IPA. Saúde. 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 Mmm. Wow. Very good. Very good. Light on hops. Very light on the hops. I like it. It's good. It's crisp. Qual é o outro? É o outro. A sour. A sour. I am trying a sour. Oh, maracujá. 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 Passion fruit. Fruity. Fruity. But this is passion fruit, straight passion up. Fruit. Whoa, this is good. It's nice sour and passion juice with a little bit of alcohol. Oh, so good. Wow. Caramba. Nossa. <laughs> Fria. Woo! Woo! I am frozen. This is where they store all the kegs, and these are the these are the uh, the, 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 the so pequeños. These are like one six. These are the half barrels, right? Huge. So this is what they do. Like I just said, they store it and they send it out. Amazing. Oh, frio, frio, frio. Obrigado. 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 Too friendly. You're too friendly. Awesome. All right, we're gonna try one beer. And we're done for the day. We have to drive to Fornopolis. Okay, mi amiga. Amiga, vamos a probar una cerveza. And right here we have their brand new spanking IPA. This looks really nice and crisp. It's gonna be good, right? Absolutely. Mmm. Very fruity. Wow. Very light on the bitterness. But it's a, it's a little cloudy. Not crazy, hazy IPA. A little cloudy, not so crystal clear. Very nice, nice head. Mm. Everybody loves these IPAs. These IPAs are blowing up all over Miami. IPA, 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 everybody's into it. My friends, we explored Blumenau, the beer capital of Brazil. We did an epic tour. We did basically everything you could do here. We started off at Beerland. We tried some of their beers, a stout and a Pilsen, then went to lunch at this amazing restaurant. Oh man. Unbelievable food. Uh, I would say the best place to have German, authentic German food in Brazil. Yeah, people are very nice, very German building, beer garden. You can have beer, you can have German dishes, and you can also have buffet, but at night you can have only like a la carte, a la right? carte correct. So that's at night. Yes. Then after that, we explore the Germanic town or Germanic villa. villa that's yeah. like historical, the old town, right? Yeah, that's where they held the Oktoberfest, other beer uh, festivals. It's like kind of like a tourist attraction, right? Like I would say the main one. Yeah, I mean you go in there, you buy some souvenirs, you drink some beer, you eat some food, and just you know support the locals. Yeah. And then after that, we came here to Alice Blau. Alice Blau Alice Brewery. Blau, everything blue. There's so many breweries in the area. Yeah. You gotta explore at least one or two. I highly recommend it. I mean, you're coming to the beer capital of Brazil. Why not be like a true German and drink some beer? Very important. This is one of the only ones that allow guests to do the beer tasting and visit the, the brewery. Okay, because most of them are closed breweries. Or just convenience shop. Okay. Like the first one that we went, right? Okay, so like Beerland's so, convenience shop. This one has yeah. a, actually has a tap room. Yeah, and other ones, not because they're outside of the city, but they don't uh, allow guests to go in. Okay. So very important. Good this is the one. This is the one. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. If you're ever in South Brazil, if you're on the way to Florianopolis, stop in Blumenau. You will love it. German Brazil at its finest. Prost. Prost. Saúde. Saúde. Hey, bro. It was awesome. awesome. Thank you. Thank Let's you. Let's go.